MotoGP world champion Francesco Bagnaia was left confused and furious after squandering a golden opportunity to score 25 points by crashing out of Sunday's Grand Prix of the Americas. Having already clinched a Saturday's Sprint Sunday double victory in last month's Portuguese opener, Bagnaia has now crashed out of two consecutive full-distance races, missing out on a potential 45 points. Sunday's crash at Austin Circuit of the Americas occurred just as the Italian was on the verge of reclaiming the championship lead from fellow countryman Marco Bajecki. Expressing his frustration to BT Sport, Vinaya said, For the second weekend in a row, I don't know how it happened. I am quite angry and disappointed, not with myself, because I'm 100% sure it wasn't my fault. Bagnaia insisted that understanding the cause of the crashes was crucial. We have to know why it is happening. I did many, many laps this weekend without having any issues, and then in the race, just controlling, I crashed. Bagnaia said he was lucky at least that some of his main rivals, notably Honda's Marc Marquez and Ducati's Enea Bastianini, were absent due to injury in both Austin and Argentina, and so limiting the damage. Comparing the incident to his crash in Argentina two weeks prior, Bagnaia noted that something different had occurred with his bike. It's true that our bike is so fast, so competitive, but then if you crash and you don't know why, it doesn't help anything. Despite Honda's dismal start to 2023, LCR's Alex Rins offered a glimmer of hope for the Japanese manufacturer by securing its first victory since the 2021 Emilia Romagna GP last weekend in Texas. Banyaya's back-to-back Grand Prix crashes have sparked concerns about his ability to learn from mistakes, though he insists the bike is solely responsible for his tumble. Rins demonstrated a strong performance throughout the Coda weekend but he faced an uphill battle to overtake Bagnaia in the Grand Prix. The dominant sprint winner and Pullman were relentlessly pursued by Rince in the early stages of the main race, but the latter had to risk a bit to keep up with the Ducati. It appeared as though Bagnaia was on track for a Grand Slam weekend. However, on lap 8 of 20 on Sunday, disaster struck as he crashed out at turn 2. With his second Grand Prix crash, in consecutive rounds, Bagnaia has given up 45 points and acknowledges that his luck amidst his main rival's struggles in 2023 will eventually run out. Ducati boss Davide Tardozzi's dramatic reaction, dropping to his knees in despair upon witnessing Bagnaia's crash, spoke volumes about the Italian team's concerns regarding Bagnaia's mindset, especially in light of his series of errors in 2022. The champion rider emphasized his strong connection with his bike, saying, I have a lot of feeling with the front of my bike. I can push when I want. I can control when I want, yes, like yesterday. But today, just crashing like this was something too strange. Bagnaia further described his cautious approach to the slippery corner where the crash occurred, saying, Every lap in that corner, I was just telling myself to keep calm because it's slippery and I was doing that very slow, to enter without doing aggressive things. In a fascinating twist, Francesco Bagnaia asserted that the crash was 100% not my fault and pointed to his bike being overly stable as the culprit, resulting in a lack of front-end feedback to predict when it might fold. Bagnaia mused, maybe it has too much of a filter because it's so stable. I feel unbeatable on my bike. Time attacks, managing the tires, yesterday's demonstration, everything was perfect throughout the weekend. My bike gives me immense confidence, but it's too stable. You might think I'm crazy, but I prefer more feedback to understand the crashes. I was entering more cautiously, trying not to crash or stress the tires. Elaborating on his desire for a less potent yet more responsive bike, the world champion shared with the press that he might actually favor a slightly more unstable bike, or even consider going a tenth slower to gain a better understanding of everything. Currently, he finds it challenging as he feels invincible and capable of anything on his bike. Banyaya was among the nine riders who crashed out of the Grand Prix. Many attributed the mishaps to shifting wind conditions and the track's low-grip nature, but Banyaya dismissed these explanations. Ducati now faces the challenge of bolstering Bagnaia's confidence while addressing the bike's issues in upcoming rounds. What do you think? Will Bagnaia and Ducati be able to find the perfect combination to secure more victories in the future? Will the team be able to restore Bagnaia's confidence and maintain their competitive edge in the upcoming races? Let us know in the comments section. 
If you enjoyed this analysis of MotoGP action and want to stay updated with the latest news, insights, and stories from the world of motorcycle racing, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to MotoGP Zarathos.